Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my garden. I inherited this beautiful backyard. Uh, I can show it some of you. And uh, it has some garden. It has some plants being uh, planted. But I did not inherit it, all the plants in the best condition. Uh, so now I love gardening, but I do have to learn. I do have to learn a lot. Uh, about the things I never did before and one of these things is uh, uh, trimming shrubs and trees uh, so you can see here uh, right behind me there's um, a very sad bougainvillea it took me some time to um, even identify it uh, but I'm pretty sure pretty positive it is since uh, I waited for it to bloom and now it's pretty obvious that it is a bougainvillea but it's very 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 sad you know this bougainvillea is uh, like a beautiful bush so bushy and green and full of blooms and this is just a sad sad thing uh, which uh, was just a little bit abandoned so uh, I figured that um, uh, I had to do some research and I figured that bougainvillea only uh, blooms on the new growth. That's why we can only see the blooms on the very, very tips of them and they're rather sad. Also the leaves are sad and looking down. So I think it needs a big, big burst. There are also some uh, some weeds uh, below. We will remove them. We will put some of uh, fresh new uh, soil uh, above. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to trim it. Here I have my things ready. Uh, my cool fiskers. Uh, they're not probably super professional. I I figured that uh, they're very like special brands uh, which the coolest gardeners use but they work totally fine for me. They're cheap and they work very well for me. So um, yeah I'm going to uh, trim it really hard. There will be probably no green leaves left when I'm finished because you can see this well, let's see this branch look it's just a big long sad branch it's a sucker we don't need it so uh, I'm hoping for not only to burst blooming later but to make it more bushy to make it more like a bushy shape not the just few uh, long vines with few leaves and few flowers on tip Okay, so first of all, I'm going to trim this long thing down, but I don't... Where do I... Probably I may leave some of the growth uh, here below. I'm okay for it to grow. Let's start here. Okay, what if I trim it? Right there okay and then this thing is to set i'll trim it too that's my yeah there are buds we can see buds over there so if i trim it there's more okay let's just do it here it's a good green wood so it should regrow quick and not as sad. All these small sad leaves will go. Okay, as well as these. So we'll have, yeah, it'll lose all of the green growth. So it'll have um, to boost a new growth so that it can, you know, produce energy with green leaves. Okay, where do I put I think, okay, here I see the bud, right here, so I'll cut right above it. Oh my goodness, that's so drastic. Oh, look how long it is. Bye, sweetheart, I'm sorry. 
Okay, now another branch right here. Maybe I leave, I leave the big branch and I'm going just to work on these. Okay, are there still any? Okay, I'll leave some buds just in case. Okay, this guy is okay. And you can see it is starting to bloom because it's a new growth right here. A fresh new growth. So we'll leave it. Okay, then you, this guy, okay, this guy is also, I'll just leave the, the first uh, bud, hoping that there will be a branch. This sad branch will go too. There is a bud, okay. Cut right above. I'm not saying it's not terrifying. I'm not saying that I'm afraid that it will not regrow. But on the other hand, the shape it is now, it's just unacceptable for me. So, okay, I'll let you grow and then I'll do something with you later when you bl finish blooming. Okay, this one. No, I think I don't like it. I'll just remove this branch. Okay. Okay. Right there and right. Maybe even right there, the whole thing. I hope that it, it'll start branching out of all of these buds. I think I'm going to remove this whole thing. Okay, so there's, so far, let me go further. Yeah, we have some naked branches and only a little bit left. So I guess I'll just finish the way I started. So yeah, you can see that it only blooms on the new growth, which is the fresh new growth. I'm sorry that I cut all the blooms but uh, they didn't feel they didn't look nice really on this abandoned thing so that's what I get not very nice though okay I'm pretty done here ouch they're so spiky my goodness I just tapped on the spike so I hope it will regrow I'm really hoping uh, I watched many videos saying that they grow like crazy so I really hope for that I will add some uh, fresh uh, fertilized dirt, I will give it some fertilizer, I will take care of it, I will water it um, thoroughly, so I'm hoping it will regrow. <laughs> so if you are also as scared as me to uh, cut your bougainvillea, maybe you can just, uh, maybe that will inspire you. And I will definitely update you on the growth of my bougainvillea and uh, I'll show how it goes. Bye, thank you for watching. Uh, hey again, uh, it's been uh, nine days. Today's day nine after I pruned my bougainvillea and I just want to you and I just want to show you guys a little update on how it's going. I think it's going well. First, the branches I left seem like they started growing faster. Uh, and also this one, the one I left here, down here. So it started blooming, it's, it started sprouting really uh, fast. And I can also see uh, little new branches growing from the buds right here on the same branch which was left green. So this one, and also I can see new sprouting here. Now look at this. It's all over. There are many, many new branches coming in many places. On all, see this little pink dots all over here? These are all new branches coming. And I can see them everywhere. Let's say this one, that was a big branch removed, but look how many new 
branches are coming. That's just amazing. I'm really pleased. Yeah, I can pretty much see them everywhere. Uh, okay, nothing here. Okay. But yeah, pretty much it's growing. Um, it's sprouting here. I can also see some bigger branches already coming here and here. Like everywhere. So I'm pretty, very happy about it uh, and I'm like really looking forward so I think I'm having like a beautiful dark purple Poggenvia. Cool! It worked! Yay!